I'm Ed Johnson, one of the co-founders of Pushfar, and in this very brief video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can recruit mentors and mentees for your mentoring programs. Recruiting mentors and mentees is something that doesn't have to be difficult, but you do need to take it into consideration. It's something that's sometimes ignored or not taken into consideration as much as it needs to be, but it is fundamental to the success of your mentoring programs, because without mentors and mentees, you're not gonna get very far. The first thing I would recommend is making sure you've got a marketing plan in place. And that marketing plan needs to involve your target audience. Who are your mentors and mentees? Is it the entire organization? Is it certain departments or certain job levels? Depending on who it is, you can then start to build a comms plan around it. One of the fundamental basics of communications plans is to keep them simple. Keep your messaging short. Your employees don't have time to read reams and reams of pages and pages and pages of material around why mentoring, why not, what it is, who's involved, things like that. If your mentoring program is open to people, make that clear and give them a really clear action point as to where they can sign up. The second thing about recruiting mentors and mentees is looking at the needs. Who needs mentoring and why? What are the objectives for the individual and what are the objectives for the organisation? If the objective for the organisation is looking at improved retention rates, then where are you losing employees in the first place? Are you losing them in the first 90 days? If so, then a mentoring programme aimed at new joiners is probably a good place to start. So starting a mentoring programme for them, get them involved with and get them on the mentoring programme as soon as they join. If the mentoring program, however, is focused on a diversity and inclusion group or certain inclusion groups within an organization, then start to communicate with and talk with the program managers of those diversity and inclusion programs. Looking at that comms plan is the fundamental basis of recruiting mentors and mentees, but you should be looking at how you can do that throughout the year. So running webinars, seminars, and events involving senior leadership and your employees is going to be critical. We know that it takes up to seven times for you to be told something before you remember it as a consumer of any product. That's why marketing and branding is always so important and so costly for any organization. Running a mentoring program is no different. Employees will need to be told time and time again that mentoring is available to them before it really sets in as an idea that they take into and use and action into actually getting involved in the program. So bear these things in mind, but remember, you can also talk to me or any of the account managers at Pushfar if you're looking for support on how you can recruit mentors and mentees for your programs. We've got lots of tips and tricks, and we've got lots of resources to help you in doing so.